Question number 6 of the Fitness FE morning portion of the exam. In this question, we are given a flow chart which says the description shows us an algorithm that determines the sum 1 plus 3 plus 5 and so on and so forth until 2n minus 1. First, n odd integers from 1 through 2n minus 1 where n is greater than or equal to 1. It also inserts the result into variable x. Which of the following is an expression to be inserted in blank A? If we look at the flowchart, what we need to know is what would be the expression that we'll need to put for blank A. If we look at the answer group next, we can see that there are patterns that we can observe but also differences as to distinguish between the choices. I was able to choose the correct answer which is B but I think to really find out the correct answer for this number we shall need to understand what's happening in the description and also in the flowchart to find out that letter B is indeed the correct answer because sometimes you get some guy who answers the test and feels like it's letter B then we we'll go with letter B but we need to also explain our reasoning behind the answer that we chose of course sometimes I choose the wrong answer and I'll need to also explain why I ended up choosing another letter instead of the correct answer uh, having said that in this case I did choose letter B and if we look at the description again, it tells us that the first n odd integers from 1 through 2n minus 1, where 1 is greater than or equal to 1, is what we'll need to do. And then for the flowchart, we can find that if our answer is yes, then that's the time when we stop. Therefore, if we are counting the sum of the odd integers, then we need the way to know when are we going to stop doing that. And turns out that letter B tells us that exact condition, which is if I is greater than or equal to 2n plus 1. We can see that there's a 2n here and there's also a 2n here. And I think that we need a plus 1 here instead of a minus 1, just like in another choice, because we need to show that we have gone past the counting from 1 through 2n minus 1. So once we've gone past the 2n minus 1, then that's the time that we are going to stop. Now the next part here is letter i. And we can see that letter i is the answer for b and for c is x. Now, how do you know that it's supposed to be i instead of x? Okay. What we can see is that we store the result into variable x. What result is that? That is the sum of the odd integers. And what we store in i would be the odd integer. So we are counting one by one all the odd integers and the sum of that we put into x. Therefore, what we are going through in the condition, in this case the expression, is to count 1 through 2n minus 1, the odd integers, not the sum of the odd integers. That's why the correct answer is I instead of X in this case and the final answer would be letter B.